So I've had a lot of questions of, about how I recreate the videos that I've been doing. So I first want to say that I did not even know how to upload a video from my camera to the internet, let alone do all this before COVID. So if I can do it, you definitely can do it. And I do everything through my slides. So everything that I create on my slides, I find on uh, the internet through Google. So this is one of my projects here. And let's say that I need a jump rope. So in this case, I want a transparent jump rope. It didn't really have to be transparent, which means no background, but I like those better because you can add them to different um, slides and you don't have to worry about the background. But for anything, I always Google, and let's say I wanna do jump rope. Sometimes I don't know the exercise I'm looking for, so I'll just do exercise GIF, but I always try to do kids. Those are harder to find. And I like to do transparent. So I Google that and make sure you're in images. And then you get lots of different ones. So you just kind of have to scroll through until you find the one that you want. This is transparent with that checkered background. That usually means it's transparent. And anytime I find something, I literally drag it over to my desktop. And you can see I have some more over here um, that I've been working on different projects. But once I have that, now I can literally drag it right into the slide that I need it. So that's the first tip, which saves a lot of time. And then you can adjust the size however you need it. Make it wider, make it bigger. So um, honestly, when I'm searching for GIFs, I'll try to search for a whole bunch of different GIFs. And so my desktop is just filled with GIFs over here so that I can just start dragging them over to the slides when I need them. Now, I have a lot of people asking about timers. This is an awesome timer that I got from Cindy Lou, um, who I met at a PE convention, and she does a great, a lot of great stuff. But when I'm looking for a timer, you have to go on in, uh, YouTube, or sometimes Teacher Pay Teachers have them, but you can find them on YouTube, lots of different timers. And when you find one you like, you literally copy and paste the YouTube link, let me show you. Copy it. And then on my slide, I'm going to go over here to insert video. And now I'm going to paste it. And there it is. And so I click it, select it, and now it's going to pop up. Now, then you adjust how big you want it all that stuff. Now, this is really important. All up here, the format option comes up. If it doesn't come up for you on your computer, then you can look here as well. But make sure you click on your timer. And then you want to go over here and where it says play, I have it play automatically. So that means once my um, slides are in present mode, like this, the timer will automatically start. So oh, there you go. I've actually got two on there right now. So it takes a few seconds to learn. Now, when I have, I'm going to delete that because I already have one in there. But when I have everything ready to go on my slides and I'm ready to record it, then I use Screencastify to record and it literally records my desktop. So I hit record, I put it in present mode, and now some of you have asked because you get this gray screen at the bottom. Well, you have to wait and be patient until it goes away like that. Now, I slowly move through the slides one by one, give time, you know, for directions to be read or music to start playing. Now, my timer is going to start here at the top. And you'll notice that it has these words and it just doesn't look very clean. But once it gets to a certain time of going, it does. So I always, once I'm done recording, I edit to where my timer starts at a clean spot. So on this one, I could start it at 30 seconds, but I definitely don't want to start it at the original time of the timer because it just doesn't look clean. Then I'll move to the next slide. And now my timer starts again. again. And on this 
particular timer, I use it at 25 seconds because it had those pictures and things up until that point. So once you video record all the slides with the timer starting at the beginning, going all the way to zero, then you go back into Screencastify. Let me see if I can open up. I'm not sure I can because I'm in the middle of recording. Perfect, I can. So then you open it up in Editor. Takes a minute to load. And honestly, with Screencastify, it's just playing around and getting familiar with it. So this is one that I've already, um, it looks like this is one I've already edited. So I literally would could come in here and cut it. Say I didn't want to start it till 10 seconds. Then I use this, I cut, and then I chop it down to 10 seconds. Cut again, and now I delete that. Put it in the trash. So now what you see is you'll see instead of a 15 minute time to look at the picture, they have 10. So I'll start it and see, there you go. It starts with 10. I'm gonna fix that so that I have my original. So that is how I do all of my videos. It takes a lot of time collecting the different GIFs and putting them in the slides. So I hope this helps. Have a good day.